okay now uh, now uh, uh, I shall be inserting data uh, according to the our plan so no sorry now I shall be inserting data here so uh, I shall be inserting data of income and debt uh, I shall be inserting data of income and debt that I have collected from population okay okay so now uh, now so here I'm start to uh, here here I shall uh, I shall be inserting data so here is data view and variable view right so yeah so here is uh, two things are here so first I choose the variable view and this is the name of the data so our first data is income the first variable is income and the second variable is the debt right we have two variable so we have two data uh, two variable now uh, I shall be inserting data here so I click on the data view and I start to insert data 23 21 25 32 34 20 25 so and then I also insert data 40 45 34 55 26 25 45 okay so uh, so so the, these are the data that I have uh, in the, that I have col collected from the population okay now we want to check whether there is a correlation or not that we want to check right right we want to check whether there is correlation or not but we do not know we do not know their relationship shape so we shall use two tail test right that is the guideline so so that is the guideline so I proceed now I go to analyze correlate by variate means between any two variable so I choose the by variate then you see how we have the two variable so I select all and take it here two variable has come and here I choose the Pearson and there are two things two tail one tail right and what is two tail uh, two, two tail means when the when the association ship is not known or or, or when the income and debt uh, wh what is their relationship that is not known at all then we use the two tail but when the association ship is known then we can use the one tail test that means whether they are positive or negative association ship that we know only then we can use the one tail test but but uh, what is the association ship between income and debt we do not know that means they are they have positive or negative association ship that we do not know in that case we should use the 
one tail test right okay so here I have chosen one tail test I click OK so the result is coming up you can see the outcomes are here that is coming up gradually the outcomes so this is the correlation matrix you can see the correlation matrix so what I do I make it big I make it slightly big so that uh, yes I make it uh, 14 no, sorry I make it block so that I can make it big slightly okay, I do it 16 font so that you can see better now okay and uh, from here what uh, what you can see you see from here you see there are two variable income and debt and also this side this this one and this one actually is the same right this one is the image this one is the image of this one or this one is the image of this one okay so first I talk about Pearson correlation and the value is here right value is here between income and debt so the correlation value is 0 0.358 meaning that 35.8 percent right and the uh, association ship is positive you see from here that means when debt goes up income also goes up and when income goes down debt also goes down right but the association ship is not strong it is only 35.8 percent there is a positive association ship but that is not strong okay. and here uh, then I check significant level two tail here we have chosen two tail test and this one is the significant value so how much is the sig or p value sig or p value is 0 0.384 meaning that 38.4 percent right okay okay and what is our normal guide and what is our null hypothesis here null is there is no uh, association ship or there is no correlation between income and debt in the population that is the null hypothesis an alternative alternative is uh, there is association ship between these two variables in the population that is the alternative hypothesis and what is the guideline the guideline is that if the p-value or sig value is less than 5% we shall reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis 
that is the guideline right but if the sig value is more than 5% more than 5% we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept the null hypothesis so that is the guideline normal guideline and here how much is our p value the p value is 38.4 percent right you can see from here 38.4 percent here is 38.44 percent meaning that more than five percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that we accept null hypothesis that means there is no correlation between income and debt in the population that means in the real world there exists no association between these two variable so uh, so that is the that is the decision of this model right and, and and one more thing I am telling here uh, this is the significant level right this is for two tail make sure this is for two tail not for one tail test this is for two tail significant level not for one tail however in this model income and debt has no association in the population